This video takes a deep dive into Exact Analysis Insights Search. If you are new to Exact Analysis Insights, the Learn About the Exact Analysis Dashboard video gives a general overview of search. I recommend watching that one first before jumping into this one. Let's get started. To open Insights, I'll click on the shortcut I've previously added to my Exact Analysis Dashboard. Next, I'll click on the Search tab. If you haven't used Search before, your screen may be blank and you will need to choose Sources. To do this, click Choose Sources. Then, you'll select the worksheets you need. I'm going to select Claims Worksheet and Line Item Worksheet, and then click Close. Keep in mind, data between worksheets cannot be mixed. For example, if I wanted to compare ACV, which is under the Line Item Worksheet, to the Cancellation Date, which is in the Claims Worksheet, I won't be able to since those columns come from different sources. A quick tip, if you want to identify where certain columns are, use the search bar. In this case, I want to see where QA approval status is. I'll type in the search columns field, and the worksheet it's attached to will appear. All right, let's head over to the search bar. Here, I want to view the estimates returned count by assignee and 2019 versus 2020. When I hit enter, the text turns yellow. This is because I need to specify my search. In this case, I'll put my cursor over 2019 and click. A menu appears. I'm going to select Loss Date. The Loss Date will apply to 2020 as well since they are grouped. Next, I'm going to add Weekly to my search and select Return Date in the dropdown. A chart was automatically generated but I'm going to switch to a table view. In table view, I can hover over the columns and a menu icon appears. Here, I have options to aggregate the data, filter, sort, and even adjust the text wrapping. For this example, I want to get rid of all the zeros in my data. I'll click on filter and then add a condition. I'll keep greater than and change the value to zero. Now all the zeros have been removed from my table. I'll be sure to add the same filter to all my columns. This next step is easier to see in chart view. See how the y-axis shows different scales? I can fix this by clicking on the arrow on either one of the y-axis. I'll click Group, and then click Estimates Returned Count 2019. Now the y-axis are together. Next. I want to highlight two icons. First, I'm going to click on the Edit Chart Configuration icon. In the Configure tab, I can click on the X or Y axis data to edit the way the data is presented. If I click on the Estimates Returned Count 2019, I can change the color and the number format, which include display, category, unit, and negative values. Please be mindful when making selections. You wouldn't want to accidentally select currency or percentage when it's really the number you're after. Over in the Settings tab, I can make selections that affect the entire chart. If I really want to dig more into the data, I can click on the I icon to view the query details. I can also click on the Query Visualizer, where it maps out exactly how my data is being filtered. The Query SQL can be found here as well. Finally, I want to share my data with a coworker. I'll click the share icon, add a description if needed, and click save. I'll enter the information of the person I'd like to send it to and click share. Data can also be shared with entire groups. Another option to send data is to use the copy link option. Another helpful tool when learning about Exact Analysis Insight Search is by using the keywords page. To get there, click Help and then select Interactive User's Guide. Under Insights, click on Search and then click on Keywords. Here you will find keywords to help you further define your search criteria. I can even see information on Verses and Weekly from the search I did earlier. As you can see, Exact Analysis Insights Search is a fantastic way to analyze your data. If you'd like to continue learning about search, 
please check out part two of Exact Analysis Insight Search. Fill out the survey below to let us know if there's anything you'd like to learn more about. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more expert tips each week.